Hey art friends, this is Paul. Previously I did a video on using this small Bristol board sketchbook for my ink drawings. With this nice thick uh, flat finish Bristol board and I'll put a link to that video in the description here because I'm still really enamored with using this Bristol board. I'm not going to look back as far as using this stuff. Now I'm doing an ink drawing here, starting off with a number two pencil, an eraser, and then I'm using my Jin Yao fountain pen ink here, or pen with a Higgins uh, fountain pen ink that they call India ink for fountain pen, um, and Kohinoor sometimes fountain pen ink, pretty cheap fountain pen ink, but you know, it does the job, it's pretty black. And then I'm just using these um, equally cheap SEPA markers I pick up on eBay. It says Japan material, but it comes from China. Mainly for this video, I want to show how do we erase on Bristol board using a razor blade. So like I was um, touching up her face a little bit here and, you know, I want to take away some of that um, her lips. I want to make her lips better. What's the amazing thing about Bristol board is that you can really get in here very carefully with the razor blade and just remove the ink that you don't want. Also, you'll notice that I'm marking off um, in pencil different work areas on my sketch page. And I'm noticing I've gotten that tip from looking at other artists' work. And I noticed that that really helps um, keep my drawing controlled, you know, really staying within that space. Make sure your ink is fully dry before going back and erasing your pencil marks. That's something I've learned the hard way. And after um, you take away with the razor blade, I found it helpful to go in sometimes and touch up a little bit extra with the ink. There we go. Just full out her lips a little bit because some of the areas, you know, may have gotten taken away a little bit too much. So this is what we've got going on here. I'm also going to take a little bit out of this uh, pant crotch line in here. It's a little high. It should really come down to about there. So I'm going to carefully feather this out with the razor blade as well. And pretty happy with how it turned out. You guys post your comments below. Feel free to share any tips that you use as well or materials. We'll see you guys real soon.